Tony in Honolulu, Hawaii. He writes to me and he says, Aloha, Paul. Well, aloha, Tony. As some of you probably know, I was born in Hawaii on a place called Eva Beach. It looks like Iwa, E-W-A. Eva Beach in the Plantation Hospital way back in 1948. Yep, that was me. All right, anyway. So Tony writes to me and he says, many of the equipment that I have seen does not have a ground. They only have a two-prong blade on the plug. Should I ground this equipment? No, I wouldn't bother with it. It's probably designed quite well as it is. So let me explain some of that to you. All of our equipment that we have have three prongs on the plug. And that's true for most professional gear, for most high-end stuff. We have three prongs, ground, hot, and neutral. All right? And in the United States, that's the configuration. In the UK, everything is basically grounded with their plugs. And in other parts of the world, same sort of thing. And what that means is that that third prong, the chassis, is grounded. It's tied directly to that metal, the chassis, right? So if you were to, if something were to go wrong, if you were to touch it at a point that's inappropriate electrically, you're safe, right? If a 110-volt wire got loose inside of that piece of equipment, which in the 50 years that we have done this has never happened and probably never will because, I mean, it's all tied down. But if it did, it would just <laughs> short out against that grounded chassis, kick the circuit breaker, and so you're completely safe, right? But now let's talk about equipment, mostly consumer stuff like Sony, uh, oh gosh, how many things? My Razor. My electric razor has a two-prong plug. That's pretty standard, right? You've seen that. 110 volt, plug it in. It's got two prongs. A lot of consumer electronic gear has two prongs. My Apple TV has, yeah, my Apple TV and my Mac Mini both have two prongs, okay? So how does that work? Well, in order to do that, the company has to build a completely electrically isolated inner piece that has all the power and everything and there is no electrical connection to the outer chassis whatsoever that's the rules and that's hard to do that's big companies they got billions of dollars they can invest in tons of engineers why they actually do that i don't know. There's, I'm sure they have a good reason. But that's what you basically have to do. So grounding that chassis isn't going to be any safer than not grounding it because it's just an empty box. It'd be like grounding your bread box. Why? Why would you do that? You don't need to ground your bread box. You don't need to ground your toaster, right? My toaster oven has two prongs. <laughs> Plug it in and it's got a metal chassis. No worries, because that metal chassis in no way is connected electrically to the place where all the electricity goes in, unlike this, which actually has a grounded chassis. So it's just a matter of how, how well you do stuff. So hope that helps your understanding. Okay. Aloha. <laughs>